It's not about how women are becoming hoes. It's about how you are bragging around that you have slept with a lot of women. And it is supposed to be an exciting thing to women. So they won't really fall in love with you when you pursue them. They will be turned off right away. There was this man who was trying to pursue me. He was very attractive. He behaved in a very well-mannered way. But there is one thing that really bothered me. When we were having a conversation in a group about dating and relationships, he started having a conversation of how women are becoming hoes and they are not taking care of themselves. It is definitely true. Women are being used by men. They are not respecting themselves. How he knew that women are becoming hoes because he has slept around with more than 150 women. Are you even listening to yourself? Just talking about how you don't respect yourself, bragging about how you have conquered women and they should fear you for what? In fact, you are telling women that they are supposed to stay away from you. How you are disrespectful. You don't care about their need. If you've slept with a lot of women, it does mean that you are not concentrating on one woman and learn how to make her feel good. Get to know how to make her also enjoy. So you are busy making yourself get satisfied with different types of women and you really never cared about them. I never respected him. Even when you are trying to look for something that will give you courage of making a woman like you and fall in love with you, it's not by you lying, showing women how you have a bad reputation. She knows you are a toxic man, you don't respect yourself, you don't value women, and you expect her to still fall in the same trap. It can never happen. We are trying to show women that we are conquerors, but remember, that does not exist to women. It shows women that you don't respect yourself, you don't care about yourself. You never care about how to satisfy a woman. And you are always using women to make yourself happy and not to make them also enjoy and be satisfied with sex. And don't always talk about your body counts when you are with women. Even when they're just your peers, you were a dirty man. You were a low value man. You never cared about yourself. Now you have a clean slate. Start fresh. Create boundaries and respect yourself. Some men have not even slept with those kinds of women in their life. They only do that to get and boost their ego so that women might end up liking and loving them. Women will only hate you for that. They will understand that you don't really value and love women as you say you do. Don't do that. Being persistent when a woman has told you no. Hold up. You love this lady, she is attractive, good looking, and you want to have a relationship with her. First, when you had a conversation with this lady, you thought that she is also into you and you can have a relationship with her. But you have learned that she is suddenly pulling away from you and she is telling you back off, it is a no. Remember, when a woman tells you no, back the fuck off, it means no. Don't entertain women to take advantage of you and use you for their attention. And yet, they're not really into you when they tell you no, but they mean yes. Show them that when you do say no, I'm going away and move on with your life. Walk away. What's the worst that could happen? The more you pursue her, be more connected with her, the more you will have more feelings for her. And when she will tell you no for the second or the third time, you will be heartbroken. But when she tells you no for the first time and you respect that and walk away, she might come back for you. Always respect you for that. You will always have an ego that after all, I walked away from that lady. Getting these women and having a relationship with them takes a lot. But when they do tell you no and they don't want to have a relationship with you, respect that and walk away from them. Have the courage, the confidence to show them that, you know what, I am not desperate. I had feelings for you, yes. But that does not mean that I am an attractive. I can still get another lady to work on my life. And you know what? I am walking away from you. If she is also interested in you, you are taking the lead by telling her that no means no. And if she is interested in you, she should make the effort of also doing the half of the work. You are being in control of the relationship. And she is not supposed to manipulate you and control you by telling you no when she does means yes. Don't entertain a lady to use you for her own validation. Sending your dick pics. 
I know sometimes you are interested and you want to have romantic sexual relationship with this woman, but sending her the dick pics, it does mean that you want to fuck her. At the end of the day, when you guys will end up to have a stronger relationship with this lady, you will end up having sex with her. You don't have to show her that, you know what, I am interested in you and I want us to have sex right away. Most women will be turned off for that. They don't really feel okay when you send them your dick pics. Respect yourself. Imagine you are in a meeting, having a conversation with your manager, and out of the blues, you receive a photo. It's a dick of your boyfriend who is trying to pursue you. And maybe the phone was on the table. The manager will be the first one who will see that message on the screen. That will cause a lot of embarrassments. And women will dump you right away. Respect yourself. Have discipline. We will finally have sex. But you don't have to let them know that I want us to have sex today. Even when they were genuinely interested in you, they will pull away. Women will always want to believe in a fantasy. But when you try to show them the reality of everything, it is always a turn off for them. Now, sending them the pics of your dicks is more disrespectful and don't do that. Women are very, very sensitive when it comes to some things and the things that you perceive as so romantic and attractive it is an attractive to women and you need to be okay with that the last basic ones are not being so much aggressive to women for no other reason or mocking other men so that maybe you can show women that you're the one who is in charge no make sure that you have good hygiene take a shower be fresh wear clean clothes make sure that you trim your hair and you make sure that you look more attractive don't apply too much perfumes people will not breathe we have those one who will have a lot of headaches who will sneeze those one who will not be comfortable in the environment with you don't ever brag about how much you always spend while drinking alcohol it will show women that you like being tipsy and not every lady is attracted to a man who is never sober it doesn't really exist what are some of the other behaviors that you feel you as a man you should have stopped doing long ago before women told you to stop and do we have some other behaviors that are unattractive to men but as women we keep doing them let us know in the comment section so that women can rectify their mistakes and they can also be better women however did you really watch up to this point if you did then comment down below by saying i am with you and until next time be safe, take care, and let's have peace.